always co-main event on this uh, card and still co-main event, but what a fight. Tommy McCarthy against Chris Billum Smith for the British, the Commonwealth, the European Cruiserweight Championship, but quite frankly, also with huge strides towards a world title for the winner of this fight. De delighted to be joined by both fighters, of course, Mark Dunlop and also Shane McGuigan. Chris, I'm gonna start with you. As we'd expect, in tremendous shape. Lots of talk in this fight, great build-up, everyone really excited, and just a couple of days away now. Yeah, it's uh, it's been good, it's been exciting. You know, it's a, a fight you can really get up for with everything that's on the line and, and the, the chat and the interviews and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for Saturday night. I feel like that you've paid your dues in this sport. You know, you've always taken the opportunities you've been given. You've been looking for that big breakout fight. And let's be honest, this is it, isn't it? The British Commonwealth European titles probably moves you into the top five in the world, certainly with the IBF as well. And this is a massive moment for your career. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, it's the, the right steps at the right time, I believe. Um, so with the British Commonwealth and European titles being on the line, it's a, a, another step on the ladder. A lot of people talking about how this fight goes, how this fight ends. I know that you've been quite vocal. You believe you win this fight by stoppage. We saw that we heard that from you last time at fight camp. Is that still in the mindset from Chris Billumson if you believe you win this fight by knockout? Yeah, absolutely. I've, I've said it all along. I, I believe uh, I'll stop Tommy in the, in the mid to late rounds. Um, and that's, that's what I said at the beginning. That's what I still believe. Shane, great fight. You know, the fight that you've been looking for for a while now for Chris Billum Smith to really show that he is, a, this is a fight that's really above domestic level as well in terms of their world rankings, but one that you've really been able to get your teeth into as a trainer. Yeah, definitely, and it's credit to both of them taking it because you know it's, it's obviously a domestic title, um, but they're both highly ranked throughout the governing bodies at world level as well, so they could have sat and waited for a, a, an opportunity at, at the top, but um, it's fantastic, it allows Chris to, to win the European title and the British and, and you know, defend his Commonwealth. And it's, it's exactly what he's in this sport for. Big fights, domestic fights they can get up for. Um, and, you know, and it's a competitive fight. You know what I mean? It really is. It's, it's after React Pro, it's probably the, Chris's hardest fight to date. What do you see in this fight? I know you won't give game plans away, but I know that you guys are both very confident in this fight. But at the same time, I know you rate Tommy McCarthy as well. Do you just think it's the strength of Chris Billum Smith, the engine, the power, the sharpness? What, what wins him this fight? Um, size, definitely. I think Tommy's not the biggest cruiserweight. He's very skillful, got good movement, sits back well. He's very, he's very elusive, but I think in close, mid to short range, size is going to tell as the fight goes on and I can see him stopping him in the late rounds. I know that Chris is uh, one of your favourites. You've worked with him for a long time. It would mean a lot yeah. to win this fight on Saturday night. It would be massive for him and, and would give him a huge future in the division. Definitely, definitely. I mean, this is a, this is a massive step for Chris. Do you know what I mean? Um, he wasn't touted to be the best uh, fighter. You know, he didn't go to the Olympics. He wasn't on a national set-up, but we've been working together now, what, four years? And it's, it's a gradual progression. He's been in the gym with good quality fighters. He's picked things up. He's dedicated himself to the sport. He's met, maximized himself as an athlete throughout every single um, sort of section of his. And um, yeah, I think like this is going to be a real defining fight for him. And one that, you know, it's going to just, just put him on, sort of put him on the world scene, I think. Thank you, team. Billum Smith, Tommy and, and Mark, welcome. Tommy, I'll start with you. Not the biggest cruise weight, but I did say when you get on the stage, you look in better shape every time I see you. Concerned about the size in this fight, or you, you believe you're, you're bulked up, ready for action on Saturday? Um, well, there's not that much of a, a size difference, really. He's 6'3", I'm 6'2 and a half, so half an inch. And um, we're the same weight, so it's not, it's not a major factor. Um, and... Nothing, nothing concerns me about Chris. Like, I don't know, like Shane said, um, I've got the better boxing skills. I'm elusive. I've got more experience. All those cards are stacked in my favor. Um, and Chris is just rolling the dice here. And, you know, it's just, it's a big mistake to take his fight at this stage in his career. Like I said, I said it before, like, he, he isn't ready for such a, a massive jump. He hasn't, he hasn't been fighting at a good level. And now he's coming up the, up the round level. So, you know, I'm going to prove that on Saturday night. 
this is a big opportunity for him. I feel like yourself with the European title, also well ranked in the governing bodies as well. You, you've almost got more to lose than him in this fight. I know he's desperate to win as well, but it was quite a bold move by you and Mark to take this fight. You just fancied it. You knew people wanted to see this fight and you decided to, to sign on the dotted line. Yeah, see, look, I'll, I'll fight anyone, but, you know, for the fight Chris Bill Smith and with the, 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 get the, the, the clean sweep and to go on the fight for a world title after, you know, this is, like, you couldn't have picked a better opponent. Like, some people have world title eliminators against, like, killers. I'm thinking Chris Bill Smith, so, like, I couldn't, I couldn't say no, do you know what I mean? Don't rate him? As a fighter, you just don't believe he's on your level. Nah, uh, that's it. Like he's good, but what he said, he's not on my level, and that's not even just an opinion. That's just looking at the facts. That he, he hasn't boxed my level, hasn't got the experience, and you know, Saturday night, that's what's going to happen. I'm just going to thump him all over the ring. I know that he's touting a, a knockout in this fight. Perhaps you might see yourself controlling this fight over the distance as well, but. Are there bad intentions fight? Would, would you, you truthfully love to do a number on him in there on fight camp on Saturday? Listen, he's been saying it, and I said this just through. Chris has been saying the exact same one liner in every interview. Yeah, I think I'll stop him mid to late rounds, mid to late rounds. And then I was going, obviously, somebody saying that to him. And then Shane has actually just more or less said it. So it proves my point that he is saying what Shane says. You know what I mean? I could easily, like, bored of living 300 people to death and box them right over there, but I'm coming in here to smash them the bits. Mark, a great fight that was made. I mean, you got a history with your fighters. You yeah. take the challenges. You believe in them. They believe in themselves. This is a great fight. You know, I think Tommy made a great point about you could fight, you know, a, a dangerous guy for a, a final eliminator, but also you could fight a guy that someone's never heard of. Yeah. These are the fights that people want to see. The British Commonwealth European title. These are the old school fights. Yeah. And brilliant for boxing that this is happening. Yeah, 100%. As you said to me earlier on today, Eddie, like it is the triple crown of boxing, of British and Irish boxing. So we're delighted that we're facing Chris for this, for all three belts. It's, you know, the other thing, 12 and 1 or 13 and 1. It's not like, you say, he's not fighting Mike Tyson or on his, on his heyday. But saying that, you know, Chris is a good guy. He seems a nice guy. I feel he's being pushed to say the things that he's saying, but at the end of the day, when you get into that ring there, you know, there's only going to be one winner, and that's Tommy McCarthy. Tommy has boxed levels above what the guy's done. The only real thing that you can gauge it on is a react poor fight when Tommy had an off night, but this kid has never, ever boxed in the away corner apart from that night, if he was in the away corner night, and that's the night he lost. You know, you see what Tommy done in Italy. You know, Tommy went there you know, with intentions to turn his career down and make sure that the defeat, you know, that he had against Riyadh Poor wasn't, you know, it was a slip, a blip along the road. But these blips along the roads is what's made Tommy the fighter he is. I've never seen him so dedicated. You know, he hasn't been out of camp since the last fight, and that's why he's in incredible shape. And he's learned now that he's champion of Europe, you know, and kicking on the door of a world title. And not just a world title fight, a world title. He's number three in the IBF. You know, I know we've got a Corey as well, the camp, same training team. But, you know, Tommy's going for everything, all the belts on the world title. And that's the only reason we're here. You know it's not about money or we've really got much more. He's here for glory. I will say, Tommy, as well, I know Mark Dunlop is probably the most emotional guy in terms of his fighters, but there was a while, it wasn't too long ago, that you were scratching around for opportunities and Mark was just trying to get you a break. You sit here on the verge of winning, like you said, the triple crown of... of British and Irish boxing, and also on the verge of a world title fight. This is a big moment, big moment for your career, and you've really come up the hard way with the help of Mark and the team. Exactly. Like, now from Tana told me, um, I've had to really knuckle down and, and you know, overcome all the naysayers. Everyone thought it was finished. So, you know, I had to, like I've said in countless times, reposition re myself, um, get put a, a good, strong team behind me. And, you know, we've been busting our ballocks ever, ever since, and we're getting the results. So, like Mark said, we're not here for the money. We're not here for, like, the, just to take part. We're here for the glory. And, and that's, that's the only reason why we're taking this fit. And, you know, I am um, in the, the form of my life at the minute. I'm getting better every single fit. So, you know, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to work.
Thank you. And finally, to the top table up here, Shane, you pumping that into your man, you know, six to nine rounds, the knockout, or do you truly believe that he will stop Tommy McCarthy on Saturday? I genuinely believe he's going to stop him, yeah. I mean, it could even come earlier than six rounds. We'll see. Chris, from your side, full confidence. Yeah, absolutely. I've, I've said I've said that all along because that's what I believe will happen. Um, and I'm, I just can't wait for Saturday night. Well, nor can I. This is a tremendous fight. I want to thank both teams for taking this fight. I want to see more fights like this on the zone. This is going to be our co-main event at Fight Camp Week 1 on Saturday night. Whatever you do, do not miss it. Gentlemen, a head-to-head, -head, please.